Hello everybody, so sorry for the delay. Yeah, there we go. That's better. <laughs> I am back, yes. Just bear with me. I am just getting back into things, so... Yeah, I have been very, very lucky for to get a key for from Keymailer and the red fizz at Phoenix Labs to play this game. Bay Farm is the game, super chill game, super vibey game. So you know, now's the time to be getting into your chill games and really relaxing and enjoying the wind. So you know, cozy times, hot drinks, little snacks. You know. This is the time of year I love because I can play my games known for well. I can just cozy up with my blanket like so. My amazing tops and play these super fun chill games. So if you are joining me right now, I welcome you into the stream. Good night. I for one am very excited to play Fay Farm. So, I'm not going to really waste much time on that yet. Let's just get right into the game itself. Because, you know. Look. Already, I'm getting into the mood. Nice, calm, relaxing mood. Music is amazing. Don't know if you can hear it, but I can definitely hear it on my side. If you need me to turn up the volume, please let me know. And I'll be happy to do so. So, it looks like you're new here. Let's give you a world a name. Uh, I don't know really what to call it. <laughs> I could go Final Fantasy route with Eorzea from Final Fantasy fourteen. I could think of something more original, like Fantasia. Oh... I could just go a bit bizarre, thinking in what I love. I mm. love Makotes. I love Lilac. Hmm. That is the real question. What to name this? Hmm. There, I'll take in my whole experiences and go with Ladaria. <laughs> Gets the lilac in there a bit. There we go. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I need to get closer. I need to get more cozy. More cozy. Chicken! <laughs> There we go. The world is loading up. <laughs> if, of course, you want to see more about this game, you can just load up the game page to check it out in my links. But let's go make our character. Start with. So you got a nice. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Skin color. I'm definitely a shade of white. Definitely a shade of white. There we go. 
Oh god, no thanks. Uh... Oh god, no, no, no. My color. Always got to go with the bluish. So let's go with the blue there. Actually, let's go with the purple. Don't want to go too purple there. That, that's more like me, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Both eyes. If it's a both eyes, so. Eyebrows. Right, we're gonna get all purple. Or lilac, as they say. Let's see what we've got here. They are basic sentences, but you know the game is more focused on the game itself rather than. Hmm. I like this one best. It looks the least. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Ooh, that does look fun. Mm. Let's see. So we've got the bun. We've got the ponytail. I like these, the dreads. Yeah. Is there any others that I can try? Yeah. Let's see. I love cutesy. Like that looks cutesy as can be. Oh, well, we've got this one. Ooh. Actually, I'll, I'll keep to this one. Yes, hair colour. Well, oh, we've got to go there. Purple. We'll go slightly darker than our current purple. Just so it feels a bit more natural. Uh, facial hair, we don't even have this time around. We're going for more uh, cutesy character. I don't usually go for female character. Uh, Lady characters, so I like to take, make a correction there. I prefer not to use the female male orientation, as um, I found it come across more of a pointing out oh, our breeds of animals and you know, going into the whole basics of sex. So, for that, my apologies. Now we've got to get face types. Ooh, I do love them. Detail colour. Yeah. Okay, just do a bit darker just so you can see them. Giving off the cat vibes. <laughs> oh, I love it. Pronouns are in this. Nice. Yeah, definitely that voice as well. I like this. I'm loving this. I'm happy with my character. I thought I'd be taking ages doing that, but no. Walking along the beach one day, staring at the sand. A message in a bottle invited me to a faraway land. The author described an island in need, one like no other, and a home for the brave. It was written so kindly. I set off with adventure in my heart and the winds behind me. In my dinky ship, the void was dangerous and my boat was shattered. 
I clung to the wreckage, my sow in tatters. Suddenly the waters calmed and then I saw it. Welcome to Aorzea. A a Oh, it looks like it's so good. Let's uh, change screens. There we go. That's so much better for you guys. We are here. Okay. Hi. Quest. My goodness. Look at what the tide brought in. Are you okay? Your name is Anasus, and you found a message in a bottle. Excellent news. I was the one who threw it into the ocean. I can't believe that worked. I'm Mayor Mirror. A pleasure to meet your soggy self. <laughs> I love how they pretty much explain what I've just been through. You know? Yeah, I've just come across the ocean. Oh, yeah. Your soggy self. Yeah. Yeah. Just pointing out the obvious. Thanks. Oh, the house. Yes, it's still available. Actually, you're the only one who has tried to make it to our islands. It's a wonderful, magical place filled with kind and cosy friends, but we're surrounded by whirlpools. And there's a blizzard that's been howling for what seems like years up in the mountains. And there's an active volcano that has been threatened to go off. There's also the wild magic that swept through and Animated a bunch of junk, but we managed to shove them all into the mine. And they even get me started on the shade and fawns. Yep. Aoria. Azoria is a real paradise. No, don't go. Well, you can't actually go because of the whirlpools, but I can sweeten the deal. I will have my patented walking package sent to your house. And look, a fun map. That shows you where everyone and everything can be found. Go on and check out your new home. Okay, message in the bottle is true. A lovely farm is waiting for you here. All you have to do is claim it. Discover and enter your new home. Open the welcome badges. Okay. I promise you'll love it here. Hey, I got a map. Let's open the map. Okay. Homestead. Let's head to Homestead. Cool. Okay, so it's not point and click, it's actually directional controls. Cool. I love that. And direction controls are definitely good. Right, I'm going to take the shortcut. Boom. Next. Boom. <laughs> Let's just go inside first. Hey, welcome to my new home. Investigate. Backpack inventory. Yay. That's it. Return to map. There we go. I got my inventory space. Good. And I got my basics. <laughs> so you can bring that up using that. But it'd be nice to just be able to press the escape button again to get rid of that instead of the right click. It just feels a bit clunky. In regards to that, you should be able to use the same button to get rid of it again. Not have to press a different button completely. That's so far what I've come up with. You know, just pointing out things that I'm not liking as much early on just so you guys can follow with me of course i will be putting out a quad of the stream as well over my youtube channel so don't worry if you miss anything of course it won't include the 10 minutes of start so it's a little less to worry about there hello there happy to have you around there we go, moving in. So what do you think of your new home? 
Welcome kit was pretty sweet, right? I knew you'd love it. But Azoria is the perfect place to live, assuming you're okay with magical forms and suspicious weather patterns. Why don't you try giving your home its own name? Give it that special Zen touch. Hmm. House name. What would I consider naming a house in real world IRL? If I was... I wonder. Hmm, I'd probably definitely go along the lines of cats. Cote. I'll just go pretty simple. Makote. Home. Oh, Makote. <laughs> Call it Makote. Okay, he said. No, and to put three layers at the end. Ah, uh, I just named it Makote for that. Don't tell me what you named it. That's just between you and your farm. Speaking of farm, this house comes with one right here. This is the farm. Yes, okay, it has been the best of days and will require some elbow grease, but you survived a whirlpool, so it's nothing you can't handle. Besides, it shouldn't take too long to tidy up the place, not with your own set of brand new tools. You've got a set of starter tools. Using your tools is easy. Go up to the objects and press the right tool for you'll be ultimately used. Just make sure to keep an eye on your energy. With those beginner tools, you can get all kinds of things done. You can upgrade them later at Cinder's Smithy by the docks to tackle tougher jobs. Try clearing away rocks, logs, wild grass and harvesting wild greens from the lands around your home. You can keep all the materials you can get by. Cool. Right, we've got a big task on our hand now. Cool. Sounds good to me. Let's read. Uh, okay. Okay, I do get some extras thanks to these sponsor of my stream at Phoenix Labs. Creators behind Fay Farms, they were happy to send over a key to me. If you do want to check out more information about the game, you're welcome to. There is a link here in chat if you wish to check out the game itself. And as always, you know that I'm a partner on Game Advantage. These are the glasses I wear every day when I'm gaming. So if you're on 10% off of your own pair, go check it out. And use the code or just follow the link. Either way, it gives you 10% off. There we go. Definitely nice and simple. I like that. Reminds me of Stardew. This is what I'm hoping to get from this game. Get those cozy uh, gaming vibes. Okay, that's that done. Is that done? Where do you get the wild spring greens from? There we go, beach logs are done. Where are the spring leaves? Right. 
That's cool. Like that. Right, we're still looking for spring greens, so maybe we've got to go to a different area for the spring greens, or maybe it's this one. There we go. Now we know what spring greens are. Hey! Okay, so you got levels as well, which is nice. Nice leveling system. Maybe get something out of that too. Ah! Oh, I do love this, having uh, blue points around the place to learn how to get to places. That is a cool touch. Well, am I having an issue finding the last spring greens right now? Oh, there it is. Right there. Perfect. Right, right. We've got to use that a lot already. Yeah. A lot of good materials to start with. Might have to reprogram that to the escape bar because it's so much easier just to get out windows with escape than right clicking. Hello, Aorias, the better for having you. Hey, tidying up, done. Nice job. Now you have some space cleared, how about I show you how to use it? In order to make something, you will need to construct it yourself, but it's as easy as falling down. So you can build all kinds of things indoors and outdoors. Just gather the raw materials and start construction. If you don't know what materials you need, just check your Alamac. Alameca. <laughs> there. I told you about that Alamaki, right? It's like a guidebook to Zoria that you're filling. Isn't that fun? Back to construction. Let's start by trying to build a piece of cozy furniture indoors. You'll learn by doing it. Craft and place a round wooden stall inside of your home. Cool. And just a reminder to everyone, uh, we have to run ads to keep the stream running smoothly for you guys. So uh, just so you know, I don't know how to fix it right now, but I did have three minutes, but Twitch has resorted it back to one minute 30. So the, the break will be for shorter, but please note I'll try my best not to miss the best moments in the game, and I'll see you in a moment. Yeah. And for all those that are sticking with me, let's continue, right? right. Quests, can that tools and crafting. Cooking fire. Construction, there we go. Round wooden stool. Rustic stool. Is this, is this the crafting table? How do you craft on this? Right, I think we have an outfit. Well, no, I don't know. Can't, no, we don't have anything yet. Cool. We've just got the basics right now. More ways of some of this. And... Do we have to go inside to craft? Oh, there we go. See. Right. B. Ah. That's cool. Right. Still need to learn how to craft, though. Dungeon tracker, candles, quests. Let's go back out again because I don't think you tell me how to uh, craft. 
There's all these things here. Customization or mirror. Hmm, I'm confused already. <laughs> like, how do you create stuff in this game? You just pick up the item you want to craft with, and it just moves there. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, right, I need a minute to learn how to do this, because I am completely, it doesn't, and what's confused me the most is how it's not telling me how to uh, do it, unless I've completely missed it, but I don't remember it saying anything about crafting, it said craft and place a round table in your thingy. It didn't really say how to do crafting. Because it only allows me to place stuff or even my inventory here. Oh, build catalog. I'm so dumb. Right. For now, let's just. Also, it would be nice if you could uh... All right, stick over here for now. Let's use it. Oh, look how cute I look. <clears throat> right. Hello. Aorias, the Azorias, the better for having you. It's the same thing every time. Looks like you've been doing this your whole life, then. Really, I'm impressed. Generally speaking, you could build decorative things inside or outside. How you set up your farm is up to you. Oh, and we've already built you a mailbox. Miles to postman will deliver your letters and packages first thing in the morning, so don't forget to check your mail. Oh, I know what you should build next. A cooking fire. Have a cooking fire in your farm is the easiest way to cook up a hot meal. You can always make fancy equipment later. There's all kinds of things you could cook on your cooking fire. I have seen some wild greens around, but there's mussels on the beach too. Try building a cooking fire and cook some food on it. Cool. Alright, let's... Right. let's put... fire here like so I'm gonna keep that wood there and then second structure then use let's prepare to go <clears throat> nice little animation as well Pretty cute. I actually love it. So it goes from 5 to 15. Cool. Hi. Thanks again for coming in to you. Okay. Let's just forget about reading that stuff. Let me see what you've cooked then. 
Bravo! You see, with cooking fire, you can roast and toast your heart's content. Home cooked food always tastes better, I say. Cooked food gives you more energy than raw and sells for more money at the market, too. Try using different raw ingredients to see how they can be transformed into tasty treats. Experiment, you know, get jazzy with it. Know what you're thinking, Zen. When is Merrick going to teach me about farming? Right now, let's get our hands dirty and play around with some seeds and soil beds. You know, I'm pretty sure I left some seeds and construction materials in your storage shed. You have a storage shed, by the way. Go get the materials in your storage shed, then construct some soil beds on your farm and plant one seed in each. Cool. Soon you'll be enjoying fresh Aeorian. Azorian produce. You're going to be so self-sufficient. You can thank me later. Cool. <clears throat> right. I'll just take it all out. And what we're gonna do is gonna just clear, just keep it here for now and then when we clear more space we can get more stash for it later on. I'm gonna put a nine bed in. Just do it like so much better. Let's put all my turnips in. Hi. Wonderful job, Zen. Soon your fields will be sprouting with ground, 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 ground grown goodness. Say the f three times fast. <laughs> I wondered why I was tripping up on that. I knew there was something behind it. <laughs> Just don't forget to water your seeds. They won't grow you unless they're watered. Though if it rains, you can skip a day. I hope you keep tending to your fields as farmers always say. Don't leave them alone. <laughs> oh my god, these leaf puns. These farming puns are completely horrible. <laughs> You've done so much to improve your farm already. I bet you can't even think about that harrowing journey across the ocean. Oh, you should meet your neighbours. Word has probably already spread that you're here. We're a bit of a small town, you see. We should go talk to Eddie and the marina. He's probably near his home in Stay a Wild Bay. He'll have a fish tail or two to share. Cool. Now we get to meet the neighbours. Well, before we go do that, get the hedge roots. Right, let's head off. Although I'm thinking I should, yeah. I'm completely surprised it didn't tell me. It didn't tell me to. Uh... Yeah, to do the uh, farming, the other parts of the farming. There we go. That's how I need to have as well. A nice tracker. Oh, and while we get on our way, we might as well. Ooh, pink. 
Love it. Cutesy. <clears throat> As you know, when I come across stylish and cutesy things, I just get carried away. Yeah. <laughs> I think I went too far. I'll go back. I think I'm supposed to go over this way. Yeah, there we go. Might as well pick up some muscles while I'm here. Ooh, I call woven rock. Some nice white rugs there. Squid of ours. Sweet. Lon Labar. Have you been exploring yet? And it's got a lot of secrets ready for the finding. Good to see you, Zen. If no one's told you, I'm Eddie. Is it Zoria's old marina? I hear you got a little farm going. I won't hold that against you, even though fishers and farmers have been at odds forever. Never mind that, you haven't lived until you fish. Believe me, give me the seas over the trees any day. How about old Eddie gives you a quick lesson in the art of the rod and reel? Hot dog, I'm ready whenever you are, Zen. Alright, go out there and catch a fish, any kind you like, salt or fresh water. Or even give you my old rod, may it serve you well. Yay, I got a fishing rod. Now hold out your rod and cast it some so your blubber bobber lands near the mouth of a fish. Then read it in a bit at a time, not too fast. The hypnotic motion should encourage the fish to strike. When the fish has bitten, you get to the reading fast. Not all at once though. If your line turns red, it's ready to break. Best stop for a moment until it turns white again. Keep it up, and with a little luck, you'll reel in a prize. Go fishing and tell me all about it. All right, so it's basically like any other fishing game, really. Throw it out there, see what you get. And go from there, basically. Come on. There we go. Ah, the fish is not too hard on this. Hey, you got salmon to start with. Nice. God. How do you cancel this? Oh, okay, I get it. I see. Yeah. Right, it's just the flicker of the uh, the wheel. Makes it a bit easier. Hello. <clears throat> ah, you seem to have done well for yourselves then. Tell me how the fishing went. Well done, my friend. You're on the way back to become a marine master. Maybe you'll even leave the farm for the seas one day, like I did. But enough of that. I told you all I can. I've seen you grow from a minnow to a sardine. I think it's time you spoke for our local beekeeper. Now the beekeeper can teach you about the critter catching and you are going to want to pay attention to that. Yay. We're learning about everything. And we've got to go to West Town now. 
and visit my home. <laughs> Let's wander for a minute. See if we can find anything. Or not. Greetings. Good for you. I'm coming to Azoria. It must have been quite the journey. Friend to the critters. New face. When I heard someone washed up on the shore, I could hardly believe it. Oh, wow. These puns. I did not see that coming. I tell you. <laughs> Then, eh? It's so nice to meet you. You must have a lucky clover in your boot to have made it past the world what pulls. I'm Mel. I hope everyone is treating you well. It's been so long since we've had someone new on this island. The bees have all been a buzz about it. You moved into the abandoned farm. Wonderful. Hey, since you're new here, let me show you how we catch bees and other critters here on Azoria. Azoria is a heaven haven for critters, mostly because they outnumber us Azorians by a wide margin. Now, don't worry about how critters feel about it. I've developed the most gentle, cozy critter now. It's like getting scooped up by a cloud. <laughs> Here, I've always got an extra net just in case. Equip your net and swing it to the capture critter to improve your chances. Ready your net and approach the critter slowly. Why don't you go take a couple of swings and catch a new few critters, then come back and show me. I just know you're going to catch the critter catching bug. Oh wow, we've got to catch a few bugs here. Okay, that's nice. Swing. Okay. Sneak, swing, there we go. Cool. Ah, aquamarine still. Whee! What have we got here? Oh, that's just energy. That's cool. You do. Brown snail. This is so cute. <laughs> Wizard's mop. <laughs> Where are we here? Blue checkered rug. Wow, there's loads of recipes. In fact, I'll leave some of them for now. Just because we are on a quest for finding bugs. But I'm at right now. Bugs are the key. Ooh. That looks special. Moon Moth! Ooh. That one looks rare, the Moon Moth. Yep, yeah, it is rare as well. I like that. A lot. Been here five minutes already catching rare creatures. Uh, 
There we go. We got four different creatures as well. Catching efficiency has gone up. We've already got some fireflies. Planes are plenty. Greetings. Well, how do you feel nice, right? You can keep the net. You've got a great technique. I can see you become an avid critter catcher. Remember, recruiters can leave you little gifts if you add them to a conservatory. For later, the mayor said not to overwhelm you. You know, there are some many critter collectors on this island. If you collect a kitchen, you could always sell it. There's always someone in Isoria who'd like to buy. You can sell just about anything, really. Then you'll earn florins, that's the local currency, if no one told you. Or selling things is really pelt specially. She's the chairman of the Merchants Guild. She's kind of a big deal around here. Sure, she would love to tell you about certain things. You can find her in the town centre marketplace. It's been a real pleasure chatting with you then. Right. Let's go to the town centre now. Ooh, clay brick path. Definitely had to learn that. Let's see pool. Yeah, there she is. Good to see you. Pardon Florence. Hello, fellow entrepreneur. You must be Zen. Fantastic to meet you. I'm Pearl, the head of the Merchants Guild. You know, I bet you have a bunch of stuff in your products that you'd like to get rid of. Am I right? What if I told you could turn that random junk into cold, hurned, hard... Florines. It's true, you can sell that stuff for florins right here and now. Or in the market and the money isn't deposited automatically. Now is not the time for questions, it's time to learn. Pay attention because what I'm about to say may change your life. Everything in Isoria sells. Everything plant fibers sold sold clay sold spring peepee peeper spring peeper sold and it's so easy, a chick chiku could do it. See you in the middle of the market, our tables. You put something on those tables, and by the next morning it's sold. I know you're you're wondering who is buying everything. Don't worry about it. Azoria simply has a healthy economy full of buyers who are hungry for junk and gems alike. That's why I have a pillow that says one Azorian's inventory is another's resources. Try putting a few things on the marketplace table to sell them. Mayor Mayor will be so happy when you're participating in Isoria's economy. Find her when you're done. There we go. Let's have a look at this one. All right. I want to keep the salmon for now. So let's sell some of these. I'm not so sure the snail is going to be useful right now. Peacock I want to keep for sure, Moon Moth I want to keep. Uh, let's also sell some of these. We'll do that for now. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Look out, they're still blowing now even on the table. That's so cool. Chapter 1 completed. You're back, Zen. I've been hearing such a wonderful things about you. Sounds like you're becoming a real Azorian. And I'm furious about getting shipwrecked here. Yay. All's well that ends well. You get a house and a farm, and we get our first new resident in well. Hmm. I can't remember. 
I don't actually remember when the world builds appeared, but things weren't going great even before that. But nothing you can't handle, Zen. Now that you've got your tools, rod and net, you can handle anything. So many questions. There will be plenty of time for answers, but you must be so tired of talking. How about we put a pin in this and you head on home? Great. Hey, Zen. I think you're going to do great things for Azoria. Hey. Oh, wow, it is late. New recipe beverage station. Okay, the day just ended for me. We had to catch in for a... Okay, great. A new day has begun. A thorny problem. Chapter 2. Okay, first thing to do, check our mailbox. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome on in. Hey, multiplayer is open if I want to play. I need to help me relax and die as to start coloring your furniture. Okay. Scattered scrolls. Scroll recipes. Okay. You might have noticed some unusual magical things happening around Azoria. It isn't too serious, except it kind of is. Can you come over and talk, please? Alok. Alaric the wizard. Right, we've got our next quest, which is Easter Town. Right, let's uh, quickly change some settings. Uh, rebinding, there we go. Oh, really? It's not that advanced. Oh, seriously, I can't read binds. That sucks. Okay, you can use the controller though, that's cool. Also, I'm just going to go and be right back. So, guys, see you very shortly. I'm just going to get a quick toilet break and a nice cup of hot chocolate. I'll see you soon.
There we go, that's better. Yeah, I'm back, guys. I'm back. Thank you for waiting. Right, now I've got my little hot chocolate. Now we're going to get those pure cozy vibes now. Got my hot chocolate, got my blanket, got my timeout wafer bar. By the way, I'm not sponsored to eat those on stream. I just love timeouts. <laughs> it has a nice wafer fin and still full of chocolate that I love. <sighs> just another reminder, guys, if you are just joining the stream, I'd just like to point out this game is provided for free. If you'd like to check out more information about Fae Farm, there is a link to check out the Facebook, the uh, the game page as well. You're more than happy to check it out yourself if you do like that sort of game. Right, we should stare from the water at water before doing anything else. There we go. There we go. We can actually cut these trees down. That's cool. Just take a really long time. If also you have any questions about the game, I'm more than happy to give you any info you so desire. But for now, we let's head on over to the wizard to continue this chapter two. Rocky! Tiptoe time. Let's see if we can get that frog. Ah, missed. There we go. Common toad. I'm not. Hey, Zoria's got a lot of wild magic. It's my job as a wizard to bring some order to it. <laughs> Salutations, then. My name is Alec, you humble wizard of Azoria. The mayor let us pick our titles. She vetoed Mel's first title, which was Azoria's Honey Bear. Yes, of course. You're wondering why I mailed you. Okay, so um, Azoria has a lot of magic. Wild magic to be specific. As in uncontrolled, possibly dangerous magic. Oh no, I don't mean to worry you. No, wait, I do. Because it's pretty dangerous stuff. <laughs> you fear nothing. Well, that's good to hear, but probably doesn't lend to good decision making. I know what I must do. I will build you a magical staff. You can use it for protection and to harness some of the wild magic. That was my tummy. I've been so worked up that I've forgotten to eat. I haven't had a warm meal in days. Do you think you can make me some home cooked food? been eating raw muscles and I think I'm about to turn into one. Deliver, pick up a muscle from the bridge. Mm. And also in my hot chocolate for anyone who is wondering, I have put a hint of um, Sicilian lemon in it. Because pretty much, I do love a well flavored hot chocolate. My favorite is mint, obviously. Second favorite is probably hazel, hazelnut, and maple syrup. Because 
Why not? It's maple syrup. <laughs> right, let's uh, head to sleep. Yeah, start the new day. I thought it put me straight to sleep. That's why I headed off. Uh, right. What can we do? Wait, how do we go? Ah, there we go. Sleep. I hold to sleep. There we go. Oh, I know what happened. I left it running while I was um, on my break. That's why a whole day went by. I wonder why a whole day just crept on by. Oh, well. What's done is done. I suppose we've got only right, let's uh, water these. And we're going to make some food. We may as well make them all. Oops. Uh, prepare that as well. Hey, you've got some mussels being cooked now. I wonder if you can cook more than one item. Maybe that's later when we get further in the game. I'd definitely like to explore that because I do love cook cooking in games. Collect it all for now. Okay. Hey, cooking level two. I can't pick them up. Yeah, let's head back towards the wizard. Ooh. Oh. Ah no. It disappeared. Right, I need to be extra careful then. There we go. Great. Let's give acquaintances. Okay. There's a relationship system in this game as well. I love it. A bit. So you're back. I smell food. I feel the life returning to me. I can't wait to chow down. I'll spend tonight working in my alchemical lab. Tomorrow morning you'll have your very own magical stuff. Meeting magic with magic. Now I don't normally recommend anyone work all night, but sometimes <laughs> but times are dire. Come meet me tomorrow over by the biggest patch of thorns. We'll test out the star's toughness before we tackle anything magical. Okay. Oh, we get 500 florins for doing that. Right. Seeing as it is the start of the day, what we're going to do is just go explore. Find these recipes that I've been finding. Get certain that. There we go. Worker bee. Oh. wonder if they can make honey once I unlock the bee. Specific requirements. Our true target. Ooh. Nice. Wooden picket fence. Oh, look at all these customization features. Ooh. Unlocked new recipes. Green tea. Tea leaves. And key loops. Oh, spooky woods we can't go into yet. It's out of bounds. 
for another recipe. Yes. Decorative bucket. So I can't go up there really far. A ladybug. Yes, it's a ladybug. Yay. Right, we're going to have to sell some other stuff, mind you, because we haven't got much space in our inventory. So let's sell some of our stuff we've got here. <clears throat> let's sell these. Uh, Make a bit of money. Let's go it's more exploring. <laughs> oh, yes, recipe over here. Oh, I missed it. Okay, so jumping in water also fills up your water. That's cool. Build stone pens. Whee. Whee. Ah, so you can't go down the river like that. Oh god. <laughs> the movement system is very interesting. Bring up people. Wooden cross fence. Mm -hmm. Scurrying so much. So we get further in this game. Oh no. They're everywhere. Oh, there's one hiding here. Hey, hay bell. Simon woven rug. Ooh, that sounds nice. Ooh, so many different secrets I'm uncovering. Let's get more muscles. enough one over here. <laughs> Bamboo rug. Woven basket. We. There we go. Shortcuts. I love these shortcuts. I am pets. Vision. <laughs> ah. We're meeting all the locals while we're trying to make sure that the day goes by. It's simple. No shipping contracts. <clears throat> A barrel. Hmm. They're basics, but still useful. Picnic basket, yay! Nice. 
Oh, we're still finding loads. Oh, anvil. That's important. That's an important one to find. Because I have a feeling that that one's going to require stuff. Peach checkered. Fuck. Crab, crab, crab. Is that a critter? I want a crab. Give me a crab. Sand crab. Yay. Ooh, all these different fence types. Oh, be careful, careful not to get hit by this dirt path. God, there's so many of these recipes hanging around. Exploring. I'm sure we'll find some new stuff around us. It's almost the end of the day as well, so it'll be nice to actually rest and carry on with the chapters. It's a nice touch being able to swim though. It really adds a lot of character to the game. Right, so we should probably use this to keep some of our <laughs> Okay. Let's keep all my critters in one place for now. Until I find it useful. Same for the tea leaves. Everything I'll keep on me for the time being. As I'll. No, I'm not quite there yet. Right. Pair those. Pair those. Let's take an early night so we can carry on with the main story. There's very really little we can do now, unfortunately. Alaric and I met where the thorns were the thickest. He presented me with the oddest magical staff I have ever witnessed. But looks can be deceiving. Because the thorns began receding. The jumbles 
should be afraid of my new power. Good-natured Azorians need no longer a cow. That was cool. It's a nice storytelling game. It's very well laid out, in my personal opinion. Is he in here? Yes, he is. Hi, then. You did great with the fawns. I can't wait to teach you more spells. Chapter 2 completed. Okay, Zen, it's time to test your might. Try twacking those fawns of your staff and press those snacko, they'll disappear. No, it's really a magical staff, trust me. We'll get into the magic stuff later. Now that you have this stuff, why not test it out on, one, on more forms? Oh, and keep an eye on your mailbox. That's how Azorians like to communicate. Okay, we've got another. It's a good hot chocolate. Ooh, violet. Anything I can interact with in here? No, it's just all there for go. Oh, and he's disappeared. There we go. Let's whack it. Let's whack. And whack. We got quests. Ah, that's why there's no quest available right now. I guess we're going here instead. Hey, Frida. Hi, sweetie. Have you seen Bajor now? I know that is supposed to handle garbage duty this week. But the boy is always on, on, off on another investigation. Tell me, Zen, have you gotten to know your Azorian neighbours better? If you haven't, I could give you some tips. I'm a bit of an expert. Reach friendship status. Friends with the person of your choice. Wonderful. Well, a good relationship is like a tasty soup. It takes many ingredients, patience, time, and stirring things up. That last one might not sound like it belongs, but trust me, it does. Now, relationships generally come in two flavors, friendships and romances. To build a friendship, you try spending time with people. They love having chats. Your friendship will develop and eventually some people even want to become your bestie. You can have as many best friends as you like. Market vendors are generally too busy with their crafts to maintain any real relationships, but there are plenty of other people on the island to get to close to. Someone special residents of Azoria are looking for a romance. You can chat with them, help them with gifts and eventually go on dates. One day, if you play your cards right, you can even get married. 
not that you have of course you decide if you want relationships or not why don't you go out there and make friends then you can come back and tell me all about them <clears throat> cool let's go and do exactly that It's Jack. Ah, brown snail. Is there like a relationship um, app as well? Be, ah, there we go. Acquaintances. Okay. Friends, romance. Interesting. And you can reset friendships. That's cool. That's a cool little feature. So I'm not sure if the game broke the fact that I haven't got any quests right now. So I'm not too sure on that. Before you arrived, it had been a long time since we had a new face in Azoria. It's time to cast your line from White Perch from River Cods and Salmon. In shop. Ah, Merchant's Guild shop. Ooh. Howdy. I chose Azoria to retire because of the island's mysteries. That and the mayor offered me a house for one flooring. I've made several discoveries as an explorer. There's a cave slug named after me. I wonder. Because there's not any story quests. The story guests are just gis disappeared. Of them. Because there's nothing on here. So where to go? So only thing I can do is think of going back to base, possibly. Let's check out our home for starters. There'll be another mailbox message. No, no email. Great. Basically, means there's nothing to do right this second. Oh, got these already. That's great. I'm in level two. Oh, uh, you can't use your keyboard for this. That sucks. Roasted roots. Right, I need to get more seeds now.
just clear these while we're around here. Ooh, what's this? So we can't get any closer yet. Because that's mysterious black smoke. New recipe. Let me go this way now. Ah, so maybe it's just that. I don't know if you're supposed to be allowed to do that, but I just did it. Oh, 1 p.m. Ooh, am I going? Spooky, spooky land. <laughs> ah, so it looks like I can't really progress much up here. I suppose I got to unlock other spells to unlock those. So there's that. Hey, Jack. Oh, he still wants the browns now. Right, I'm going to help you clear these forms for you. Good. Oh wow. Secret place. Ooh. Now we can make our base look extra cozy. They can walk, but I can't do it. I'll walk through there. Ah. Why game? There we go, that's what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> Tropical plant. All these different rugs. So much twist. And so many shortcuts as well. <laughs> I like it. Whee. Oh. Mm. Come on, don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. 
Don't go in the water. Don't you dare disappear. Are oh, you got to be kidding me? Rainbow frog! Oh, that's so worth it. I love her drinking when she gets the recipe as well. She's like, woohoo! I need that silk more than anything. There's another rainbow walking around, I've noticed. Oh no, I scared it. No, no, no. Get it, get it. Which means I'm running out of time to catch it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. Don't you dare. I knew it. Where did he go? He just disappeared. Didn't he? Maybe I'll end the day in order to unlock the next bit. <laughs> Oh my god, it's... Yeah, move more. Life line. Now let's collect all of this. Then we're going to quickly sell stuff. What? They have no value, the rainbow frog. What? Oh, they do. They have 40. There we go. Get rid of some of those. Love watching the blossoming trees in spring. stuff. In any season, eh? Right, let's get none of these. None of these.
any season, okay? These are my any seasons. <clears throat> Carventry services. Oh, cool. Scroll storage. Where else are you going to put all your scrolls? I'll purchase one of those. So these are all the shops where you can get stuff. Of course, it's very early on, so. Bookshelf wallpaper. Yeah, this definitely give me definitely Animal Crossing vibes as well. Animal Crossing meets Stardew Valley with magic. <laughs> that is the vibe I'm getting here, which I'm enjoying a lot. Okay, so we've got some costumes we can buy. I'm not ready to buy other stuff yet though. Cozy sleepy hat. Beekeeper outfit. Uh, are you? Nope. You are supplies and sundry. Wonder if you can put stuff on those shelving. I wonder if you can craft this stuff yourself too, instead of buying directly. I've unlocked a lot in my element key now. So we're just going to quickly expand our farm a bit. In fact, I'm probably going to move my farm to this side. Or I could just span the farm on this side. I oh, know I'm not strong enough to do that yet. Damn it. We'll just have to make do what we can. First thing I do is upgrade my login tool, I think. I don't think I'm going to be able to cut down these trees either. I'm missing sand. Oh. Uh, let's put my beverage stand over here. See what we can do here. Oh, ice tea. Let's get some ice teas going.
quickly. Ren. Trin. Oh, okay. It just made me go to bed. <laughs> I didn't have a chance to finish that. Quest available. Ah, the quest unlocked. He made some money today. Chapter 3. A port in a magical storm. Right, so let's quickly get back to crafting. The Can we just place stuff down as well? I have a bit of beverage station inside as well. Why am I not holding the item that I just purchased? What have we got in the mail? Floundering around Dizen, you don't have a fine job with the forms, and I think you might be able to help with something big. Come and find your old power, Eddie. I'll be standing by the docks, looking out to see Eddie the Marina. Right, before we do that, oops. Yes, let's plant my turnip seeds. Get that started. Some more. Make it our own after all. There we go, let's go to the docks. Which means getting through town. Oh, we well, might as well see if we can sell some stuff. Oh. I'll just sell those. Oh, it says charred fish, uh, may as well set it in. <laughs> Eddie will be over this way. There we go. Ahoy! Have you been exploring yet? And it's got a lot of secrets ready for the finding. Ah, Zen, thank you for coming by. I have a tower to shiver your timbers. 
It started one night when I was sleeping in a bunk aboard the Grace. Grace is my ship and I found one she is. Well, she was. I woke up that night with soggy socks that wasn't so bad, but when I rummaged through my sea test to find another pair, it was full of fish. That's when I realised that Grace was caught up in a vicious whirlpool and she was going down. I grabbed my lucky fishing hat and leapt into the cold waters. Ferociously, I kicked and swam until I reached the shore. I looked back and watched my Grace sink beneath the waves. Ah, but I can always build another ship. What I can't do is fill bellies with fish that I haven't caught. I can't let the good boats of Azoria staff. That's counting on me providing delicious fishes for their chowders and dishes. You still got that rod I gave you, right? Do you think you can increase the market's fish supply? Yep, I'll do that. Alright, we gotta do some fishing. Hey, more salmon. So every time you fall in, you have to reset the hole. This one's shiny, this one's good. Come on. Alright, it's got to tire the fish out. Come on, fish, tire out. You are getting a lot close to me. Yay! Rockfish. Nice. Fishing at level two. Let's go somewhere else and fish. See if there's a good fishing spot where we are here. Hey. Oh, thirty five. Five and twenty. It's 
spend all the time clearing up. Make good use of our time. And this is what I like about the Cozy Games is once you've done the main campaign and you've still got a day ahead of you, you can pretty much just do whatever you want. But I do need to get further in the story if I want to unlock the new stuff, like um, upgraded tools, new tools, new content, new areas. I still need to go find the sand. What I'm going to do is clear these and then we're going to go find some sand quickly. That looks much better. Assuming the sand will probably only be at the beach. Let's find those beach areas. <clears throat> there we go, here's the beach. There we go, sand and clay. I'll talk to him each day to build the friendship up. So it's always important that you speak to everyone even if you've spoken to him before. Oh, ah, so you're the flower vendor. Nice. Let's go put more palms together. Let's put another ninth palm together. Pathways yet. Oh, we haven't discovered these items yet. Dirt path, clay path. Hmm. Clay brick path. Not quite ready to put paths in yet, I guess. <coughs> But, what I can do is put these bean seeds in. There we go. Looking good.
Let's go collect some critters for a little bit, make some extra money. Of course, I'm going to keep these bees in case they can come in handy with uh, making honey at a later date. Bit of catch in level three. I wonder if there's a menu as well for levels. Oh, it's under progression, right? Okay, here we go. Wonder what level it goes up to. So we've got critter catching up to level three. Right. Oh wow, level twenty. Some moon. Yeah, moon more. Oh, yeah, I knew it. Let's quick go back to town. So I'll sell that because I'm going to get some more anyway. <clears throat> there we go. It's time. Yeah, it's getting quite late. But. Ooh, common moth. What's this? Flutter dust. Ooh. Ow. I'll keep that one. Keep that flat dust for now. And we'll keep the snail on us because I think if Rajon wanted a snail as well. Let's use our storage. Bees stay in there. There we go. 
Okay. Cool. Press ready to turn in. Oh wow, we're getting rich. 326. That's a lot. <clears throat> Nearly been our first week in the game. My apprentice and I have noticed you preparing to explore the mine. Have you considered the benefits of carrying potions with you? They're light, convenient, and very useful should you encounter anything dangerous. Come visit our shop and learn about our selection of potions. They're the next best thing to having a healer in your pocket. Stay well, Vera the healer. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Don't forget to finish. Watering these guys before leaving. Don't want to. Uh... Forget about this stuff. The last thing you want is watering plants. There we go. moving system. Now, which is the tastiest fish of all? Hey, Zen, I can smell the fish from here. You've done well. I'm telling you, I'll turn you into a marina yet. The town will eat well tonight, thanks to you. You know, I should probably introduce you to my sisters. They own a ranch and the plains are plenty. Taking care of farm owners can be very fulfilling and also plain filling since they make so many tasty things like milk, eggs and cheeks too. I always love to see, but I lick a loach for some cheats. Head on over to Irlene's shop. The cluck and dough. She and Loretta have been carrying on the family business of selling and breeding chick chikus and cotton towers. I'm kind of very rich, indeed. Ah, there we go. Ah, there you are. Have you spoken with the mayor yet? She works really hard to take her of the town. Beauty of a day, eh? What can your pal Elian do for you, stranger? Your name is Zen, and Eddie sent you. Well, he must have gotten down off his high seahorse if he sent you to us. 
Now my sister and I can tell you everything about raising happy and healthy animals on your farm. I've been holding on to the key to that coop near your farm since no one was using it. Here, you can have it. Your co coop can house the roundest of fluff balls, the cotton towel, and my personal favourite, the chiku. After you purchase an animal, you need to register it to your coop ledger. This is important. If an animal isn't registered, it won't know where the home is. You can also use the ledger to rename them only if you want Loretta names our animals and I think she does a pretty good job. Now this is a big step, this is another living creature that is now under your care. You need to let them out, feed them, give them some attention, love them. So you're up for the challenge? If you are, you can buy one of my tukus and register it at your coop ledger. Alright. Buy sell. Buy. Mm. Really, the let's call this one this chicken. Instead of Alfie. Elfie. There we go. Come on, Elfie. Let's take you back home. There we go, Elfie. Mood unsure. Get on in you go. Oh. Let's take care of these. Vines while we're here. Yeah. Oh. Hey, bundle. Oh, I missed one. Hey, fence. There we go, that's taken care of that, at least. Good to see you. Have you spoken with the mayor yet? No. Redeem quest. Which came first? Another satisfied customer? I bet your new Tiku is over the moon to be living with you. Now, don't you forget to give it lots of love and attention. Maybe you can walk it down past Eddie and ask him, when's the last time he walked a fish? Aha. <laughs> now that you've got your little chikaru, it's time to hand you over to my sister. My dearest Loretta over there is excited to meet you and talk your ear off. Cool. Now she's got another quest for me. Greetings. Thanks, I'm glad you were able to clear out those forms. Lunchtime for love. It's just so lovely to see you, Zen. I'm going to teach you about feeding animals. It should only take a couple of minutes. I'm sure you're not too busy. You brought your first animal. Now what? Now you need to feed your animals. You see, if you let your animals outside and there's grazing land around, they'll nibble to their heart's content. If there isn't enough grass to graze on, just plant some. But even in a or Aussie rear. Not every day is a good day for animals. Some will go indoors if it's raining or snowing, and can you blame them? 
On days like that, you wouldn't want to feed your animals with fodder. Put the fodder in the trail and your animals will eat it. Different animals like different kinds of fodder, so try cutting all sorts of weeds and grass. Why don't you go ahead and cut some weeds to get plant fibre, then load it into the trowel in your coop. Get some plant fibres going. Much better. So this is the chicken coop. So I guess this is the trail here. There we go. Perfect. Turn to Loretta. Hey, you're such a quick learner, Zen. I can already tell you're going to make a fantastic rancher. I'm glad Eddie sent you our way. Things have been a little cold between us since he quit the family business for the sea. Eddie's always been a bit of contrarian, but he has a good heart and will always put others first. You should probably go back and tell him about your new chiku and tell him his sisters love him. And that's an easy quest. Tell, tell, you get five hundred florins for literally just saying, Eddie, your your family loves you. That's all. Ah, you're back then. Did you have a good time learning about animals and whatnot? Oh, geez, you're going to make me blush. Ah, my sisters are all right, even they're stuck in the dirt. So, Narcissa left an important bit out about the sinking of my poor Grace. The whirlpool that took her was a magical whirlpool. Though, really, that should have been a little surprise to anyone on this island. We seem to attract the strongest magical phenomena. No one is really sure about when the whirlpools started, but I've been tracking them and I've noticed that they all start out at the beach with the entrance of the old salt water mines. I'd bet my last sand dollar that whatever is causing the whirlpools is shut away in that mine. I'd go check out myself, but the mines are locked ever since Cleo managed to wrangle all the jumbles in there. Oh, jumbles are the objects that got animated by a wild magic. One day, my steel wheel just rolled off and attacked me. It was wild. But we managed to get them all into the mines. I saw what you did with that magical staff of yours. Maybe, just maybe, you could handle some jumbles as well. You'll need to if you're going to find the source of the whirlpools. You're going to need the key to the saltwater mines first, though. Go and find Cleo and tell her Eddie sent you. <clears throat> right. So, I think 
that is probably a good time to call it. I know it's a very short stream today, but I am already getting tired and I could do with a break from the games. Ugh. But I do thank you for all for joining me today. And for those that are watching over on YouTube, if you made it to the end of this video, I do appreciate you watching all the way through. You are helping me reach a partner on YouTube. And hopefully soon I'll have those 4,000 watch hours all tallied up so I can unlock the full potential of my channel. And we'll be back tomorrow for those on Twitch playing a bit of Final Fantasy 15. I know, I know it's been a long time coming, but it's needed. So we are definitely going to head on to Final Fantasy Worlds because I need a lot to do in that game if I hope to finish the game in time for the Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth launch in February. Happening at the KupoCon, I will be at. So yeah, if you're going to KupoCon, I'll be in the Discord chatting about it there. And that's been me. I hope you enjoy Faith Farm. I'll be playing a lot more next week as well. Because as I've got this game from Keymailer, I'm happy to play it every week for you guys. So yeah, see you next week with Faith Farm after MCM. Because I will be attending WMCM a week. So if you're going to that too. Please tell me. So we can meet up at some point. But have a good night everybody.